Jamaica, Creole neighborhood. My neighborhood was the Irish Channel. It's Irish and German and Italian longshoremen. And it was a pretty rough neighborhood. It was way different than his, which was cultured and part French. And, you know, they speak French and English and play classical music, could read music. But we were comparing the differences and similarities growing up in uh, our different neighborhoods, but we both had a bunch of sisters. He had six, I had five that sort of raised us, and we both had been raised as Catholics, and we both had failed as Catholics in dramatic fashion. But also, there were differences too, like when we were little boys, we could not have ridden upon the same part of the city bus together because of segregation in the South. And we were talking about the differences as well. He pointed to a cemetery a couple blocks away on Canal Street. He said, you know, baby, my father's buried there. And I said, man, that's one more thing we got in common. My daddy's buried across the street. He looked at me and he smiled. He said, black or white, baby, we all gonna meet at the foot of Canal Street. And I, I said, well, that's a natural fact. Let's, let's write that song. So I, I said to him, I'd like to write this to be played at somebody's second line funeral. And in case y'all don't know what that is, when somebody dies in the African-American community, his family hires a brass band, all horns and drums, to play the body out of the church with a slow dirge, like just a closer walk, or when the saints go marching in, high on the sparrow. But when they hit the street, the band kicks it in the high gear. Everybody starts dancing. Now the first line is a family. They get to dance between the band and the casket because they paid for the band. The second line has to dance behind the casket. And the second line is everybody who's in the church, but more importantly, anybody in the neighborhood who hears that beautiful music and wants to come and dance you over to the glory land. It's not a sad funeral. They honestly believe in their hearts. You're already sitting at the right hand of Jesus, and we're left down here to dance away our troubles. And I wanted the song to be something like that. And I said to him, hey man, what's it like? You played your trumpet at second line funerals. I've only watched them, you know. What's it like? It looks so beautiful and so holy and so spiritual. And he smiled at me real sly like he said, well, baby, it's beautiful and all, but mostly the bitches wonder what the other bitches are going to be wearing. <laughs> he said, mostly the men are carrying a flask waiting for the band to kick it so they can kick it too, you know. So we put all that in the song, and I'm proud to say that it's been used a few times, just like we hoped it would. And I hope you all sing along tonight. The words are real simple. They're at the foot of Canal Street. I give you three quick good reasons to sing along. One is I was polite in asking, was I not? Yeah. Thank you very much. Two is it's more fun to take part than to not take part. If you came down to Mardi Gras to visit the usual suspects, and you, they gave you costumes to wear, and you didn't wear them, you just called your friends and said, oh, it was fun. We got up at 8 o'clock. We drank mimosas. They were all in costume. I didn't wear one, but it looked like fun. Or you call your friends after you put that costume on, you have some mimosas and you go to prayer and you say, I am Mardi Gras. You see? It's more fun to take part than to not, yeah. But mostly, we should sing along for the reason I told you John and I wrote it. Because we wrote it for the people that came before us. There's somebody in your life who helped you be the person that's sitting here and they can't sit with you anymore to sing. But if you sing from the heart, they'll hear you. That's where they'll be the rest of your life, right there. So it goes like this. We'll walk out real slow like we talked about. Orleans musicians, we call this walk time. Gotta leave that empty space for the pause. Okay. Don't waste your time being angry when a moment's much better with a smile. And if you feel your time's been wasted, wasted here for a while. And I was standing at the bus stop. I was just across from Krauss. And I was waiting, waiting for the driver to take me to my heavenly house. And I'll see you there at the foot of Canal Street. What will you wear at the foot of Canal? Or will the band be playing at the foot of Canal? Or will the people be saying at the foot of Canal? Is your father alive? Does your mother pray? Yeah. I want to put on my golden crown at the foot of Canal Street. The levee banks have overflowed And the streetcar has seen its day When all is gone, the plantations, hallelujah The Tremaine and the Bukhari You know I'll be swinging 
singing to that music, I'll be up on high ground where pops is blue and walk on up with Gabriel Mega Sabres and I'll see you there at the foot of Canal Street. What will you wear at the foot of Canal Street? Will the band be playing at the foot of Canal Street? Will the people be singing at the foot of Canal Street? your father your mother pray, yeah. I want to put on my golden crown at the foot of Canal Street. Y'all sing it with me now. I'll see you there at, at the foot of Canal Street. And what will you wear at the foot of Canal Street? What will the band be playing at the foot of Canal Street? What will the people be saying at the foot of Canal Street? Is your father alive? Yeah, I want to put on my golden crown. I want to lay my burden down. I'll be moving up to high ground at the foot of Canal Street. At the foot of Canal Street. I'm Paul Sanchez from New Orleans. I'll be hanging out with